guys, welcome back to my channel, Vikings Season 6. It's finally here. I'm just really excited because Vikings has a very special place in my heart considering that it was the first show that I reacted to that kind of really gained a lot of subscribers for my channel and got me kind of a little bit of a following. So I'm really thankful for that. Not only that, it just like, I don't know, it represents like a certain time period of my life where it was just... It was just a good time. It was a good period of my life and I really enjoyed Vikings and I just, I, I don't know, I can't wait to watch another season with you guys. I, it feels like it's been so long. As far as what happened last season or what I remember, it's been a, it's been a very long time and I, I just watched the recap before the episode actually starts. So basically what's going on right now, Ivar is off to Russia? Is it actually Russia? I'm pretty sure it's Russia, and he's gonna encounter the Rus Vikings. Correct me if I'm saying anything wrong, I also, I wanna know how to properly pronounce the names of these Vikings, these people, how, how to talk about them, so let me know if I fuck anything up. So that's what Ivar is doing. He killed Freydis last season, that was like the last thing that I really remember. The Battle of Kattegat happened, Bjorn became king, all hell King Bjorn, what else? Lagatha was going through some shit, having visions of Ragnar. I don't know what her purpose is really going to be this season. This is the last season also, which I just remembered. So they're going to really have to, like, wrap everything up. I don't know what they're... It seems like they're going to focus on a brother versus brother thing happening again for this season. That's kind of what the whole show has been about, just brother after brother fight. So I don't expect this season to be any different. It's going to be Ivar versus Bjorn, most likely. So, yeah, as far as everything else, I don't really have a lot of pre-episode thoughts because I really do just... I want to get into it. It's been so long since I've watched an episode of Vikings. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Y'all, I miss this opening so much. Oh shit. It's the boy. He's looking rough. So I guess a couple of months have passed. Y'all, I know I keep saying it, but I miss this show so much. Like, I'm so excited that it's back. Why is that one night they did stand in? He's been on the road with us for weeks. Tell one of our boys to find a quiet spot and get rid of him. They're just mercenaries. So nothing about Ivar has changed. I was just... Kattegat can only survive and grow prosperous through trade. Not conquest. That is my belief. All of these men collaborated willingly with Irish regime. They served as his bodyguards. They did his bidding. Whatever that was. And they burned alive a young woman called Laura. Well, uh, well, are these men guilty? Yes! Oh, Vitzerk is pissed. The awful responsibilities of kingship. Are they really ever going to address the fact that she looks younger than Bjorn? They look like they're the same age. I don't know if Bjorn just looks old or if Lagatha looks young. Ouchie. Vikings, right? <gasps> <gasps> they have no idea. Oh, motherfuckers, you have no idea. I got the chills. 
Everyone knows Ivar. Your fame has traveled the longest you'll go. You're here now. Who knows if your presence will trouble me? Let us see. I already told you there was no reason. <laughs> there is always a reason. Always. This poor guy is gonna freaking die. Actually, no. Blood Eagle, I would say Blood Eagle is probably the worst way to go, but damn. What do they call that? Is that like an actual thing that they did to people? I'm gonna assume yes. Oh, come on. They always gotta throw in like Ragnar's theme song and then have the flashbacks. Oh, look how young they look. Would you like to fly over the bombers? I don't understand! <laughs> Once we get enough speed, we'll be free on the Earth. Isn't that the dream of all humans? I don't know. What is happening? <laughs> oh, is this like a hot air balloon? to believe that King Harald had died of his wounds. But King Harald was sick, King Olaf claimed his kingdom, and had enough warriors to enforce his claim. He knows his life is threatened and likely to be forfeit. He also remembers that he came willingly to your aid when you desired to attack your brother Aifa. He asks you, as a true Viking, as a son of Ragnar, as a friend and ally to help him overthrow the usurper. Whatever has happened between you in the past, he could have pressed his claim to the kingship of all Norway when he had the power. He could have pressed his claim to marry you, Queen Gunnhild. As a man of honor, he did neither. What kind of a king are you going to be? I will think on it. Years ago, I hung my shield on the city gates of Constantinople. But now it's time to hang it on the gates of Kattegat, our ancestral and original home. <laughs> Ivar's like, that is music to my ears. I say it is a fine plan. Now I see that my arrival here in Kiev was no accident, as I suppose put all arranged by the gods. Let us drink to Odin. Is that it? I'm gonna save my thoughts for part two. This is a two-part premiere, so I'm gonna just do two parts, I guess, two-part video. So it's technically episode one and two, but I'm just gonna save all my thoughts for the end of episode two because I guess that's how they wanted you to view it as one singular viewing experience, I guess. So yeah, go watch part two right now. Goodbye. <laughs>